most famous physical therapist on the internet. Welcome to Workout in a Mirror. You need a mirror. You need a windshield car mount phone holder. Attach phone holder to the mirror. Place smartphone in the phone holder and turn sideways. Find your video. Press on the brackets to expand to full screen. And now you can exercise while watching self in the mirror for feedback. All right, hello everybody. So today I've got a 20 minute kettlebell routine for you. Um, so if you have a kettlebell at home, make sure you grab that. Um, some of these exercises would work all right as well with a dumbbell if you have that instead, but you will need weights for the workout today. Um, this is intended to hit basically every muscle group in your body. So good total body overall 20 minute workout. So I'm gonna get this out of the way and we're gonna get started first with a warm up. So I'm gonna have you start out with some jumping jacks first, arms up over your head. All right, and if you need to modify jumping jacks and take that jumping out of the equation, you can always step with this one if you need to. A few more of these in. All right, and then we're gonna take it into some body weight squats to start warming up those legs, feet hip distance apart. We'll go ahead and sink those down, or those hips down, chest up, eyes forward. Getting a few of these to warm up. We will be adding weights to your squats today in your workout. more. Now we're going to take it into some reverse lunges. So you'll step one leg back behind you, drop that back knee down to the ground. Chest up nice and tall. Let's go ahead and get one more lunge in on each leg. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and take it down to a plank position on those hands and toes, stabilizing the pelvis. I'm gonna have you go into a few mountain climbers, driving that knee towards your arm. Good, let's go ahead and do two more on each leg. All right, we'll make your way up to your feet. Now we're gonna take your hands behind your head. We're gonna warm up through your glute muscles, your rear end muscles. So hands come behind your head, elbows wide. From here, we're gonna hinge over at the waist, a little bend in those knees, squeeze everything to stand up to the top. Hinge it over, keep those elbows wide, squeeze and stand up. Just like that, warming up through the back. We're gonna be doing some kettlebell swings today. So this helps up warm up and get proper form and range of motion for our kettlebell swings when we get to that point. Get a couple more in. Good. All right, we're gonna finish out here our warm up with a few jumping jacks. Get that heart rate up. Get nice and warm, ready to work. All right. So we've got six exercises today. We're gonna run through all six exercises uh, three times. There will be a one minute break in between rounds. All right. So we're gonna be working for 45 seconds. And then you get a quick little 15 second break between exercises to reset. All right, first one, I'm gonna have you go ahead, grab that weight, we're bringing it up to your chest. We've got goblet squats. From here, I want you to sink those hips low, come on up. Sink the hips low, chest up nice and tall, come on up. Good, chest up, eyes forward, having that little natural curve in your low back with your squats. As you're standing up from your squats, I want you to think about pushing up through your glute muscles. So rear end muscles to help drive you back up to the top from that squat. Keep going with these for me. We're gonna go with for 10 more seconds with your squats, sinking it nice and low, shoulder blades pulled back together. Good. And we're gonna take a quick little 15 second rest. Set that weight aside. We're gonna be going into a lawnmower row now. So we're gonna go with your right arm first, all right? So you're gonna take a big step back with that right foot. Um, elbow comes down to your knee, all right? From here, go ahead and get started on this. You're gonna pull that kettlebell up to your right hip. Keep going with those on this side. So pulling it all the way up to your hip. Hips stay square to the ground, shoulders square to the ground as well, using that back muscle to pull that weight up. Good, working through that full range of motion. Get one more on this side for me. 
And let's switch it up. So we need that left arm now, same thing, right into it. Square off those hips. And pull that weight all the way up to your hip. Good, breathing through it. Excellent. Couple more on this side. Go ahead and get one more in right here. And take a rest. All right, exercise number three. We're gonna go into a two arm kettlebell swings. We're gonna grab that weight, pull those shoulder blades back together. With your swing, you're pushing your hips to the back of the room and letting that kettlebell just kind of come along with it. So keep going with these, you guys. And I'm gonna talk about a couple things to think about with your swings. A lot of times, common mistake with these is we squat down and we wanna raise that weight up. You're not raising the weight with your hands. That weight is just kind of coming along for the ride with these, all right? So I'll show you from this angle as well, keeping those feet planted down on the ground and letting those hips do the work on this one, making sure we're squeezing and engaging at the top of this movement. And breathing, good. Let's get a couple more in. Here's three, two, one, and rest. All right. Go ahead and shake that out. Next up, we're gonna go upper body. Again, we're gonna go into a high pull. We'll start with your right arm, all right? We're gonna grab that weight, little bend in those knees. We're gonna go ahead and pull that weight up to your chest. Pull it up to the chest. Good, if you need a little help from those legs, if that weight is a little too heavy, you can use a little knee bend, pull it up. Little knee bend, pull it up to the chest. Good, let's get one more in on this side and switch it over to your left arm. Same thing, little bend in those knees. Pull it up to the chest. Little bend, pull it up, perfect. And then again, depending upon the weight you've chosen, if you need a little help and boost from those legs, you can take it here for those last couple reps. Good. And last one on this side, and rest. All right, now we're gonna be going into a lunge. We're gonna use weight on this if you're able to. We're gonna start on your right side. Weight will be in your right hand. You can go ahead and get started on this. You're gonna set that right foot back, drop the back knee down to the ground, come on up. Sticking with just the right side right now. So lunges just like we did in your warm up today, stepping it back. Good. Get a couple more on this right side. Last one. Good, and switch it over. Left hand, shoulders set back, and let's step that left knee or step that left foot, excuse me, back behind you. Drop that left knee down to the ground. Again, chest up nice and tall. I'm breathing here. Let's drop it back for one more lunge. And come on up. All right, exercise six. We're gonna go into bicep curls first, and then Partway through, I'll switch you to tricep extensions, all right? So I'll have you grab that weight. We're gonna start with those bicep curls. So curling that weight all the way up, straightening the arms down. Shoulder blades pulled back together. Good. Get a couple more in. Get three more curls right here after your three curls. Then I want you to bring that weight up over your head, keeping those elbows in by your head the entire time. You're gonna bend that weight back, extend the elbows up. Bend that weight straight back behind you, extend the elbows up. Trying to get those handles to the upper part of your back while keeping those elbows in. And rest, perfect. All right, set that weight aside. We're gonna go ahead now and take a one minute break and we're gonna go through two more rounds of that.
All right, so we are on to round two. We're back to exercise number one. We're taking it into your goblet squats. Let's go ahead and sink those hips low and come on up right back to it. We're doing those same exercises again. Round number two for you. When you're doing your squats, it's also helpful on here to have those toes slightly turned outward, all right? Taking that stance as wide as you need it. We'll stay here for another 10 seconds. And take it into two more squats. Last one. Good, and rest. All right, up on deck next is gonna be your lawnmower row. We'll start with that right arm once again. Go ahead and step that right foot back. Elbow to your leg and pulling that weight up to your hip. Keeping that elbow close in by your side. Going with those. Back heel stays off the ground. Good, last one. All right, we're gonna switch it up now over to that other side, left arm now. Pull that weight up to your hip, send the arm down. Last one on this side and rest. All right, shake that out. We're gonna go on to exercise number three, which is gonna be your two arm kettlebell swing. Remember the hips are doing the work on this one, not the arms. Let's grab that weight, both hands on top of your weight. And let's go, shoulder blades pulled back together. Push those hips back, squeezing and engaging everything at the top of that movement. Paying special attention that we're engaging those glute muscles. Good, keep going with those. Back is nice and flat, looking straight ahead on this one. Good, keep it going. We're gonna stay here for another 10 seconds. Last couple swings right here. And rest, all right. Shake those arms out once again. We're gonna go back to your high pull on that right arm. Go ahead and grab your weight. Again, shoulder blades set back. Little bend in those knees. And pulling that weight up to your chest. Extend the arm down. Pull it up, extend the arm down. Reminder, you can use a little help from those knees on this one if you need to, to help boost it up to your chest. Let's go ahead and get three more on this side. Last two. And last one, perfect. Switch it over, left arm, shoulder blades set back together, and go. Exhale as you pull that weight up. Inhale, straighten that arm back down. And last one. Perfect. Set that weight down, shake those arms out. Arms will get a break now. We're going back to those legs and we're gonna take it into a lunge on your right side. So we're gonna grab that weight in your right hand. We're gonna go ahead and step that right foot back behind you. Drop that back knee to the ground, chest up tall. Let's take three more lunges on this side. Last two. And last one. We'll switch it over to that left hand, stepping that left leg back. Let's take three more right here. Drop it down. Last two. And last one and rest, set that weight down, shake those arms out. Exercise number six out of six, four. Round number two, we've got bicep curls followed by tricep extensions. Grab that weight, 
holding onto the sides of it, and let's curl it up. Make sure you have a little bend in those knees the entire time. We don't want those knees ever locked out. Good, couple more. Now, we're gonna go ahead and press that weight up, stabilizing those shoulders, elbows in, and extend that weight back behind you to the upper part of your back. Elbows staying by your head the entire time. Good. Go ahead and give me two more good tricep extensions. And last one. And rest. All right, we're taking another minute break now and then we'll come back together for the third round. All right, so we are on to our third and final round through all of these. We're starting back at the top with your goblet squats. We wanna bring that weight to your chest, shoulders back. Let's go ahead and get started. 45 seconds on that clock, sinking those hips low. Last time with your squats today. Sinking down as far as your body will allow you to on this one. Keeping that entire foot planted on the ground through that full range of motion. We're gonna stay with these goblet squats here for another 15 seconds. Good, last couple squats. Go ahead and give me three more good ones right here. Last three squats of the day. Last two. And last one, finish it out, perfect. Get rid of that weight for a second. Give those arms a little break. We're gonna go into lawnmower row next. So we've got that right side. Right foot is step back. And let's go ahead and begin. Pull that weight all the way up to your hip. Pull it up, elbow stays in. on that right side. Good, go ahead and switch it over to your left arm. Left leg steps back, hips squared off, pull it out. A few more here on this left side. And we'll go ahead and take a rest. All right, exercise number three. We're gonna go back to those two arm kettlebell swings one last time. All right, grab that weight. Shoulder blades pulled back together. And let's go ahead and get started. Weight comes between those legs. Hips push it forward. Another thing we need to be careful with on your kettlebell swings is that we're not over arching that low back like this, but rather stopping at neutral, all right? And we can avoid overarching by, at the top, making sure we squeeze your core, we squeeze your glutes, and we squeeze your quads. Everything is engaged. All right, we're gonna stick with these swings here for another 15 seconds. Last three. Two and one, go ahead, take a rest. All right, we're halfway through this last circuit. We're gonna go back to that right arm, high pull next. All right, grab that weight. Three, two, one, and let's pull it up. Exhale, pull it up, inhale, reset it.
making sure that we're not pulling up any higher than chest level on this one. Last one on this arm. Perfect, and switch it over to that left side. Little bend in those knees, pull it up. Exhale, pull. Help from those legs when you need it and if you need it. Good. Let's go ahead and get one more in right here. And taking a rest. All right, take those arms out. We're gonna go lunges, lunges once again. All right, grab that weight. We'll start by stepping your right foot back. Weight is in your right hand with these. And let's go, step it back, bring it forward. One more on this side. And switch it over to your left arm. Step it back with that left leg. Good. And let's take one more right here. And rest, perfect. We've got one more exercise to get through in this last circuit. Bicep curls followed by your overhead tricep extension. Go ahead, grab that weight and begin. We've got time for a couple more. Let's get three more curls in. After you get those three curls done with, we're gonna press that weight up over your head, stabilizing through those shoulders, bending the elbows, straightening it up. Bend at the elbows, straighten it up. Little bend in those knees the entire time. Two more. And last one. Perfect, all right, and rest. All right, that is it for today's workout. Thanks, everybody.